This is how I like to start an image. From a blank canvas, I need to start thinking about a general idea and a POV for my shot. My general idea is to create a landscape within a medieval culture, within a medieval design, and show some sort of narrative that can intrigue the viewer and have them feel like they're part of the action. As I start, I like to put down broad strokes, getting the overall sensibilities in place and create a good tonality and a sense of lighting. Now I'm really thinking about how to create a good composition here to get the eye to travel from the foreground all the way to the background. Putting in certain design elements of squared off shapes versus rounded shapes allows me to control how the viewer can understand what elements I'm trying to design. Having the foreground elements being carved out like marble stone, rounded off rocks, and different elements will really allow me to create a unique visual that feels relatable to things that we've seen before. Now lighting becomes very, very essential and a certain value structure was created so I need to make sure that I follow the same sensibilities and use the same type of lighting in the foreground and the background. Now over here, I'm thinking about just a few other elements to be repeated in the background so that it feels large and epic and really create the sensibility of space that I'm trying to go for. Now this wall in the foreground is very important for me to establish a certain sense of scale. The wall becomes about waist height, so now we understand how large the space can be, and when we see the repeated elements in the background, it gives us a perfect sense of understanding the space. These little details of cracks, other elements within the architecture, are very secondary to the overall design, so making sure that you start off very effectively in the beginning is my main focus. Now back here in the background, with some of these flags and other architectural elements really add to the scale and add to the design, which is now the second focus that I'm working on. These design elements that I like to create on the architecture will allow it to feel cultural and the more repeated shapes that I can create will make it all feel tied together. Like one king or one ruler made it all happen. The design cues that I'm thinking about become a little bit more rounded off, circular shapes mixed with triangles. And again, these basic shapes become the cornerstone of creating any solid environment. I'm thinking about a narrative here, thinking about how can I show some activity, showing people interacting with each other and doing one singular action. They're parading through the street and creating a narrative for the viewer to actually relate to because it's something they've seen before in many, many different ways. Now I'm thinking about costumes. I'm thinking about architectural details. And I'm also thinking about tying in these shapes in a way that becomes relatable and understandable. Now the overall sensibility of the piece is starting to come into place very, very well now. I was mainly focusing on trying to create a really interesting image, not only with man-made shapes, but with an interesting landscape. I focused on a good architectural design that also showed a good breakdown of foreground, middle ground, background, which is important for any viewer to understand what kind of space I was trying to design. Now that it's all put together with the good understanding of shapes, with a good understanding of layout, it's all come together with an effective narrative to hopefully intrigue the viewer to look more. My name is James Pack, concept artist, and what drives me is inspiration and innovation.